Welcome back to Kingpin Lanes. We mentioned a little bit earlier that uh, this is our Madison Bowl qualifier this week. Have a couple of birthday wishes to pass along. Well, Jennifer's birthday was yesterday and uh, Mr. Newrath a couple of days ago. And then there is little Burt Reynolds, as he's known. Mr. Paul Kalen, he's in town with uh, Tom Selleck, who, of course, is starring in the motion picture being filmed here in Cincinnati, Hard Rain. Well, Mr. Kalen, little Burt Reynolds, is starring in Acid Rain. Yeah, I, I can understand that. Is he his double? Is he going to be the stand-in uh, for the stunts, maybe? That's what we understand. Of course, then we might not have him back next week on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I heard that. We, we got Stan Eaton is uh, online, tuned up, ready to go. And Dave Callery is also. Uh, what do you have his, uh, what's he averaging first uh, so far, Jen? Oh, he's we, right up there, 240-something, I'm sure. I mean 266. You, he is locked in. Of course, Stan last week averaged in the area of 240-something. Our, uh, we could our have a barn burner. Burn something. burner, as we like to say. Uh, what's our average for the year so far? It's 230 232, it? but it's on its way up. Oh, yeah. There's well, no telling. Sky's the limit. And he That's starts why. off right where he left off in our last game. Calorie the strike in the first frame. I, we should probably note that Stan Eaton, who had to win three games last week to become our king, started all three of those games with the spare and not a strike. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know why, but it is. <laughs> I don't know either. But Is there some sort of, uh, is this going to keep on happening? And I guess that's a good sign, though. Well, Stan is trying to become our first repeat winner of the year. That's right. Well, the talent is so great in this town to repeat in itself is, is just one heck of an accomplishment because we have... The best city in town. I'll put our 10 best bowlers up against any 10 in any city anywhere in the country. And if anybody else is listening via satellite, bring them on in. Because we do have a great bowling town. And it's made possible by the BPA and through WLW by airing these shows. And Stan Eaton aired one out there a little bit for a light mixer. And if you'd like an opportunity to come on and be on this show, you're going to have to go on out to Crossgate today and qualify. Make a reservation, call on out there, because you can't make it on the show unless you qualify first. And that's Absolutely. a fact. Yes, it is indeed. And it's a fact that Stan Eaton has his hands full in this match because... It, Calorie is really on the line in either lane 39 or 40. And it looks like Stan, after a spare in the first, is starting to get on track. Yeah, let's take a look at it here on the split screen if we could. Stan Eaton is not out of here yet. Great knee bend, good extension through the ball. He likes it. Yeah, he's going to give a little body English. Get out of it. Seven pin. I got you. You know Stan's throwing a good shot when he gets down on that one knee. It's yep. like automatic strike. Yep. Yeah, that means please carry. <laughs> I, I know it's in the area, so just please carry. Trying to make it three, and indeed he does. Absolutely perfect. I'd like to take just a minute to, to ask the view and the audience. We have to tape um, four new bowling tips of the week. Now, we, we're going to make it a little interesting this week, or this year. I need suggestions. I want to film what you want to see. I'm going to ask anybody to write in, use the same BPA Golden Ball contest uh, address. 1821 you... Summit Road, yeah. 45237. Boy, she's Summer. good. Sharp. Look it up. Write it in, and if your uh, suggestion is uh, accepted as the winning one, we're going to come up with a nice award for you. Possibly a picture of Dave Newrath. Autographed. Personally. <laughs> Autographed, as a matter of fact. No, we're going to come up with a nice prize. Uh, Second place gets three pictures of Dave Newrath. <laughs> I, I tell you what, I get out of oh, town. You. That was cute. I, <laughs> this stuff, I, I don't have to take this abuse. I really don't. But anyway, I'll guarantee you one thing. The prize will be worth more 
than a hundred dollars okay so I want to see some response out of everyone at home I want to see those cards and letters coming in with suggestions and be be as detailed as possible and the winning one remember I I got I have to tape tape four of them but the winning one what we consider to be the best one will win a gift of some sort worth at least one hundred dollars so that's the motivation to get your ideas in folks very kind of mr new Rath. i didn't say it was coming from me <laughs> well we took i'll for find granted, it from but... someplace Gee. our championship match is being played in champion form oh stone six the right handers four pin stan eaton stan eaton actually threw a very very good shot to keep him in the match watch that the ball is going to roll a little bit high here at the pocket the head pin is going to go straight back slow there you go the three pin to the wall doesn't quite have enough on it to come off and kick the six pin out of there that was a big big shot for stan dave cowry has a little bit of breathing room now and off four in a row of course walt sweeney's going to hop out of his seat if he makes it a couple more and go out and get that Mustang GT hot little sports car fired up, ready to go. Walt Sweeney is the main man who everybody wants to get to know just a little bit better than shaking his hand and saying hello each and every Sunday out this week. He's really a nice guy. That he is. He really is. So now Dave Callery, who is working on four perfect frames. And as David just mentioned, he is also working on a lead. Trying to make it five in a row. Yeah. Ring it up. Ring it up. You know, this week the top woman was uh, Nancy Fair, who just cleaned up on all of us girls. She came in first and second place. And, of course, she had 659. Ooh. Well, she did pretty well, didn't she? Ooh. I t <laughs> 659? Yeah, I'll take it. This guy, I would venture to say, David, and of course I missed the first two weeks, but this guy looks to be as in good a groove as anybody we've seen over the last, really, probably year and a half since Rika Kalfas' domination of last year. Well, exactly, Tommy. He's, he's lined up all. He's lined up on the lanes. He's really comfortable with the shot. He went with a little more speed that time, which we won't be able to see on the slow-mo, but believe me, he threw the ball a little harder. Now watch the six pin. Second one from the right-hand side of your screen, go up and around the neck, and that's why you leave the 10 pin with, the, with a little bit more speed. Why is it that we see sometimes even, oh, boy. Don't go away. Speechless. <laughs> yeah, I was getting ready to ask something about that, assuming, of course, that the way Calorie's throwing the ball, that was automatic. But I guess, David, to get back to that very quickly, why is it that we see some players who throw the ball extremely hard, they can get away with mistakes by throwing the ball hard and get all 10 to go down? Calorie that time put a little extra juice on it. Looked like he hit the pocket pretty well, but didn't get the bounce. The, the roll or rotation on the ball, Tom, makes all the difference in the world. If you've got end over end rotation, which is a lot of what Dave Calorie has, you can't get away with that extra speed because it pushes the pins straight back and straight up. Now, if you've got the side roll on the ball, boy, I wish I had an illustrator. You know, what are those costs? John 100, Madden. 150, version? you know, we could write on the screen here. Yeah, Exa sketch would be nice, but uh, but the side, the side roll actually applies that spin to the pins, and then they move laterally. Which, which gives you a little better penetration. Well, that's a nice description of that, though. Yeah, I like that. Minus the Etsy sketch. We'll have to talk to our director. I might bring that next it. week. You know, I might bring that next week. We'll have to talk to our director and line feeder extraordinaire, Roy Alfers, about the possibility of acquiring that. <laughs> we could... Great, a great idea. Roy's got a good idea. I mean, he is just... No, let us know that maybe a better idea would get him a grease pen and have him write it on the front of the camera lens. Real quickly, I want to bring back Nancy's fair name. Of course, she was our high qualifying woman this week, and our contestants were from Madison Bowl. She has the highest game ever at Madison Bowl, which was a 289, which she bowled in 1980. So I would say Madison's been pretty good to her. 289? 289. That's getting after it. Uh-huh. And then some. Mm -hmm. And of course, Bowl Down Cancer Week is February 18th through the 26th. 
and that is really a great tournament. As a matter of fact, I won it one year. I won $500. You can participate in it in every house uh, throughout Greater Cincinnati. And their motto is spare a life, strike out cancer. And that's definitely a good cause. And I think it costs you like a dollar or something to, to sign up for. And there is a lot of prize money involved in it. Well, that was a big strike right there for Calorie, David, because he had left that six frame open. That was a big ball. It was a big ball and a big frame. Let's watch the whole setup if we could. Watch Now watch him setting up here. He's very deliberate. Sets the fingers first, as we all should. Then he puts the thumb in. Now watch his wrist position. He sets his wrist position kind of like there's, there's a straight line between his, his wrist and now he rotates the ball over so he can be underneath it and he follows through with the perfect follow through as it goes right past the side of his head. Guys, that was a great shot in the truck. Thank you. And folks at home, you were privileged to see a good, good shot. And like clockwork, he went through the same routine again. Step back up there and 10 more in the pit. Calories gotten back on the mark, as we mentioned, after that what could be crucial open sixth frame. Okay, what the situation we have here, in the sixth frame, Dave Calorie was minus nine. He was nine pins down. With that double working, makes him a one-pin leader. Aha. And even more than that now. Stan wasn't even close, didn't look like. No. I think he's feeling the heat, huh, Jen? Could what be. Think? Looks that way to me. Missing the head pin, that's totally an errant shot for Stan, Stan Eaton. We well, haven't seen him miss the head pin in two weeks. <laughs> if there is an experience factor here, Calorie is certainly the favorite. He has been on the show more than 20 times. This is only Eaton's uh, second. And the last time he was on, of course, with the exception of last week when he became our king, was back in 1984. So Calorie certainly has a little more knowledge and know-how as far as in front of the TV cameras is concerned. Now Stan can still go out for 236. He's going to need to build on this ninth frame, the foundation frame, right now to have any chance at all. Basically what we have is a 20-pin advantage. But it can be cut at any time, and that's the way you have to start cutting at it. 176 in the eighth frame for Stan Eaton. Dave Callery with a double working. Obviously, if he, if he strikes out, the match is his. But any error at any point, Mr. Callery could not, uh, well, he, he just can't afford to make a mistake. As in any championship match, the best against the best, you can't afford to make a mistake. We're in the ninth. It's short. He got it down short and still held. Amazing. This man is lied up. When you can make a mistake like that, Tommy, and still strike, you are playing the lanes exactly the way they should be played. That's what I was saying before about taking advantage of all that area you have to the left. Definitely. Just jump on and keep on pulling it because it's going to stay right there for the pocket. Barring a mistake, you're looking at what could be our new king. And that would make four different kings? Four different kings. This is kings. getting interesting. Yes, it is. Of course, last year we had Riga Kalpas. What did he win? Seven consecutive weeks? Is that right? I'd say that's in range. Yeah. Six or seven. Well, he was something to watch in that stretch one year ago. Yep, that's this guy, it. Yeah, he's making his name known. Dave Callery puts this match away with a fantastic score. It's going to take... 240-something, it seems like, to win a game on uh, King of Bowling. There's the, the dejected Stan Eaton. But I tell you, he's not, he really has nothing to be ashamed of. He's bowled exceptionally well, but Dave Callery, uh, 247, uh, if he doesn't strike. <laughs> not so much, so much for that theory. Go for it again, right? He's put on a show, 266, the last game. Uh, I'm impressed. And he's been all the way from the roll-off. He had to bowl in the roll-off this morning against Randy Smith. He shot 268 in that game. Yeah. He's, he's, when, you've, when you've got the right equipment in your hand 
you're lined up properly on the lane and you and you you're on top of your game you can produce these kind of scores and, and, and obviously here we have had ideal scoring conditions I mean his scores are just mind-boggling 267 in this game 268 as Jen mentioned to the roll-off and 266 in the last game sure we'll see Stan back again. He did one whale of a job last week doing the same thing that Dave Callery did this week and winning starting back on the roll off and advancing all the way through. Well Tom this this is your second year doing the show with us and, and third year Jason time, time sure Getting flies old, when we're pal. having fun you right? You got it. And I think you have really been privy to some exquisite bowling. We, uh, it seems like the level of competition has gone up. Dave, Dave Callery shooting 747 to take the championship away this week. Wow, what a match. Stay tuned. We're going to give away some paper when you come back. 267 wins at Dave Callery over Stan Eaton. Sitting home in the middle of the winter, bored, you'll be sorry you didn't join a bowling league. Bowling later is when things really get rolling. Get the game rolling for a bowling game today. The best kind of bowl is later. I don't have to rush after work, and I always have fun. See what I mean? It's a great feeling. Give it a try. Short-term winter leagues are now forming. You'll like it. A new king has been crowned. David Newrath with our new champion, Dave Callery. David? Thanks, Tommy. 14K in the BPA gives you a plaque, David, for great shooting. And $750 should buy you a wall to put it on. Great shooting, super total. Congratulations, Thank buddy. Thank you. Everybody bowled well today. I was fortunate. Thanks. Okay, very good, Tommy. He'll be back next week to try to do it again. For Jennifer Kleekamp, David Newrath, I'm Tom Brenneman saying so long and hope you join us next week. 14K King of Bowling. Brought to you by 14K, Cincinnati's legendary premium beer. 14K, the one, the only, the original.